Opposition MP Fitz Jackson has provided more details on the lawsuit filed on his behalf against Scotiabank Jamaica regarding bank fees imposed for cashing checks. At a press conference this morning, Mr. Jackson and his team insisted the charge is illegal. Since 2017, Opposition MP Fitz Jackson has been advocating for amendments to the Banking Services Act to address high service fees. But the lawsuit filed in the Supreme Court against Scotiabank Jamaica is more targeted. The bill before Parliament deals with things which are reasonable, fair, just. This action is regard to the illegality of that action. Mr. Jackson says in 2019, he was forced to pay a $385 charge to cash a check at the bank. His attorneys contend that that charge breaches the Bill of Exchange Act, which states in Section 73 that a check is a bill of exchange drawn on a banker. They also point to Section 3, which states that a bill of exchange is an unconditional order in writing requiring the person to whom it is addressed to pay on demand. So essentially, based on our reading and understanding of the Bills of Exchange Act, we are not seeing any provision in the legislation which gives the financial institution that authority to so impose. The fees. And that is where the, the suit lies. Among other things, Mr. Jackson is seeking a refund of the $385 bank charge, damages and legal costs, and most importantly, a declaration order stating that the charge is illegal. So once the court makes that declaratory order, then it would certainly have far reaching implications for other banks because the, the declaratory order would not just simply apply to the defendant, BNS. It would apply to the financial institutions generally. Mr. Jackson tabled the bill to amend the Banking Services Act in 2017, but it was voted against by the government majority. He still argues that the bill is needed to protect the public. For the bill that is before Parliament, which by the way will make this kind of charge explicitly prohibited, is to allow the members to vote their conscience. All 63 of us in the parliament to vote our conscience. That's all I've asked for, of them. But you know, the failure for one's conscience to prevail, the only remedy we have left is the courts.